Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be cleaning my, not my cat, but my walls in my kitchen because I'm still cleaning my kitchen. I know I've been um, on this journey of cleaning my whole house. Yes. Well, I'm still in my kitchen. <laughs> so, um, but yes, I am going to be cleaning my walls of my kitchen and my baseboards and my, let's see if you can see it, my light switches. <laughs> Alright, you might be wondering why I am holding a microfiber floor duster when you're like, hey Megan, I thought you were cleaning the walls. Well, I have been getting tired of when I've been cleaning the walls of trying to like get on a step stool and like really stretch up there and you know, it's a pain. So I was like, well, what can I get that can get up there and do it for me? So I thought this microfiber floor duster, when I went to the store, this is the only thing they had. I think I went to Tom Thumb. That's the only thing they had there. So I was like, well, I'll just get my Method all-purpose cleaner and I'll spray it on there. And then I can use it to get the high places that I can't um, reach. And I don't have to get my step stool out. And it, I do like it because it's machine washable. So when I'm done, I can just throw it in the washer. And for the other places that I can reach, or it's a little bit tougher, that I just kind of need to really work. Um, like my kids get on this wall, there's some spots that I just really need to put some more el elbow grease in. I have my Clorox wipes. I just think they work best and they're disinfectant. They kill 99% of viruses and bacteria, so you can't beat that. So let's get started. I guess I'll go ahead and I'm going to start on this wall and I'm going to, I guess I'll just go ahead and just use this as much as I can and then whenever there's a spot that I just can't get off, I'll get my Clorox wipe, especially now with the pandemic. You can get them um, more now than you could before, but they're still, you know, kind of scarce. So, I'll use them more sparingly, but when I need them, I'll get them out. So, let's get this little baby undone. I'm just going to, here, hold that, James. Thank you. No, hold it, don't move it. Nope. Okay. Just straight down really good. You gave some of my eye me. <laughs> Sorry. It's all in my eye. Well, it's not all over me. Well, I'm sorry. You got all over me, but I hope it doesn't stain. It's non-toxic, James. You'll, you'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Guess I'll start over here and just work my way around. cleaning video I uh, clean this wall already once because I was doing my windows on my window sill so I've already kind of gone around this wall once but but 
but now I'm trying to go back over some of those spots that I missed. So that's why I'm not doing like, that's why I'm not going over the whole wall. Getting a little dry. And I think I'm also going to kind of spray the wall a little bit. Please excuse my shadow. I like I've mentioned before my ring light, my two ring lights, both of my ring lights I've had before died on me or just didn't work. I have yet to buy another one. Which now I'm like, why didn't I do that before I did this video? <laughs> Baseboards are gonna be the worst, so these are pretty dirty. So, be prepared to be kind of gross out. <laughs> it's been a while since I've cleaned these. And don't pay attention to the floor because I'm cleaning those next. son's birthday two years ago. We hung stuff up here. <laughs>
this is right underneath the coffee maker. So look, there's like all this coffee all over it. Ugh. ignore how bad I look. <laughs> I just got out of the shower. But I wanted to add on this trick of, you know, cleaning your light switches. Everybody knows that you need to like clean them and disinfect them. So I'm going to use my Clorox wipe. So I just want to really get in there and disinfect it. What are you doing in there? Sorry if you can hear my son. <laughs> Not really sure what he's doing. But the next tip is what I got from Andrea Jean. If you don't know who that is, go check out her. She has a really great cleaning channel. I'll link it down below. But she gave me this idea. When you turn off, sorry, it's gonna get dark in here. <laughs> when you turn off, my God, just do one. You see how there's still, let me get it close. Sorry. My light's not gonna be that great. There's still some little, it's still dirty in there. Let me flip this one back on. Up there, so you need to make sure you get into there on top of those two. So it's not dirty there anymore. Also, she said make sure you get into those creases. I believe she also said that you can use a Q-tip, which I actually have here. To get in there. But my fingernail is working just fine too. But look how dirty, can you see how dirty that is? Who knew that getting in those little crevices, there'd be so much dirt. I think they should be pretty clean. I'm not really getting anything else out of them. Oh, nope, got some of that one. Let me keep on going. Alright, let's see. Getting these little screws. Alright, I believe we have 
a clean light switch. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of my videos. Alright, thanks. Bye. Look how clean that is. All shiny. No dirt.